All right, guys. Uh, this is Price of Me. Didn't know this game came out. Haven't played this game since it's released 25 years ago on PlayStation. All right, guys. This is Rolling Games in uh, Star Ocean, the second story. I'm very excited about this one. This is the first RPG game I played. First JRPG, whatever you want to call it. Oh, man. This is such a... Oh, this, this was a major role of a game in my, in my past. Uh, here we go. The music, the music alone is already having me like, this is crazy. Here we go. <coughs> Star Ocean, the second story remake. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right. Let's make sure we just got some prologue, uh, animation movie. What's this? Oh shit. Oh, we got an anime intro too?
My bad. Klausy Ken Klausy Kenny, the only son of Ronix K. Kennedy. Kenny, hero of the Turian Alliance, Earthling, unsure what he wants to do in life. He's been going along with his surroundings. He's a 19-year-old student at an officer's school with a lot of on his mind. He's learned hand-to-hand -hand combat at school. However, a carefree, star-eyed, 17-year-old girl with a big imagination. She's great at martial arts and also possesses a mysterious healing power. In the southern village of Aurelia, Ar we're going to be on the planet Expel. So I know if you choose her, you start on the planet. Him, he goes to the planet. Let's see galaxy. Bonus items, okay. Space. The realm of infinite possibility. It has long inspired the dreams of billions. Oh, the voice, the voiceover is going to help a lot. In number, spread infinitely throughout the universe. Though some of these dreams are nightmares. A race of sentient beings from planet Lazonia, discovered in Sector Gamma, declared war on the Terran Alliance, igniting the flames of ferocious warfare across the galaxy. SD-342. The battleship Kalnus received a commendation for excellence in command for its victory in the battle against Lazonia. SD-346. The captain of the Kalnus and his second in command successfully contained a mysterious virus outbreak oh, that's Star on the undeveloped one. frontier planet Roke. They also were able to prevent the tyrannical G.A. Revorce's diabolical plan to conquer Earth. Thanks to his achievements, my father was promoted to admiral at the unprecedented young age of 38. I respected him more than anybody else in my life. I know that being a Federation officer is among the greatest accomplishments anyone can hope to achieve in this universe. But I am my own man. I'm no puppet. I'm not just the son of Admiral Ronix J. Kinney, hero of the Pan-Galactic Federation. So what am I doing here, of all places? You know, I, I don't know if I like his voice, but I have to put in consideration he's 19. Wow, that, that, that's crazy. How's it look? Any change from the pre-landing scans? No, sir. None of the wavelengths are showing any response. The field resembles a magnetic energy field somewhat, but its exact nature is still uncertain at the moment. Hmm. So it's possible that it's absorbing all... Hmm. So all the waves oh, that's the cool. Sensors. All right. Let's try running a spectral analysis on the magnetic waves the field is emitting. Claude, you're a ranking. Just double checking. Officer now, use this to protect everyone if something happens. Oh, you gave me a piece? What's wrong? Nervous? No, not exactly, sir. <laughs> Don't tell me you're already quaking in your boots, Claude. It's not the kind of behavior I expect from an ensign. <laughs> you can use this phase gun in battle by pressing the special arts button. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger. It might just save your life. No good, Admiral. There's no match with anything in our databases. Is that, is that right? 
Is that right. Abed from um, Community? We'll it, then. That is so crazy. If you're new to this, that whole the whole map is used to be pixelated. This is crazy. What can this possibly be? Just why would anyone build something like this here? We'll need to find a way into the dome first. You're right. All crew, spread out and investigate the area. Stay alert, people. Safety is of the utmost priority. Character up camp map, confirm talk, just cancel, close camp menu. Okay. That allows you to certain your location or destination while exploring. You can locate town, dungeon, main scenario, dungeon. Limited time, self event marker. Oh shit. Most of this was not here. I guess I won't be needing the mouse. It's quite a dome, isn't it, sir? I think there's an entrance to the way to open the entrance. I think there'd be a switch or a sensor somewhere nearby. There's got to be some way to open this door. Claude, did you find anything? If I remember, it's like by a rock. That's what I remember. Oh shit, where did where was it? Oh. Dad, uh Admiral? What is it, Claude? Did you find something? I want to get more water. I think this is some type of control device. Maybe it'll open up an entrance into the dome. Good job, Claude. Just as I expected. <laughs> it wasn't in the rock. How does it look? Think you can figure it out? Just give me a little more time and I should be able to. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Got it. It's opened. How's it look in there? I don't see any sensors or security measures at the entrance. Beyond that, I can't say anything until we actually go inside. All right, let's proceed inward and begin with the investigation. Look alive, everyone. We don't know what we'll find inside. Assigned to this area, sir, so perhaps you should go explore somewhere else. What a huge dome. It must have served some kind of purpose, but what? Please don't get too close to that device. We still don't know anything about it. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to go do. How does this device work? I've never seen anything like it. Don't be careless, Claude. Wait till we figure out what that thing is before you go near it. Don't worry. It's nothing special. I'll be fine. Stop! Don't go any closer. We still don't know what that device is capable of. Get 
Claude, stop. <laughs> How are we supposed to accomplish anything if you're going to be that scared? Right? Look, there's no danger at all. Coordinates two one four three six eight nine seven seven eight one. Uh, Opening gate. What? <coughs> <laughs> he, he's gone. <laughs> Claude! Admiral, please don't. No, it's... It's all my fault. I mean, they told him like five times. Uh, what happened? Wow, that's pretty fucking dope. Oh, that's right. I was on Milokinia, and then that light swallowed me up. <laughs> oh my god that music I've heard that so long <laughs> It's no good. I can't get a signal. So where am I? Where did I get sent to? So we're playing the dumb hero. Well, I can't okay. just sit around here and do nothing. I need to figure out where I am right away. From the looks of it, this place might be some underdeveloped planet. Where could I possibly be? That's... there's someone there! Whoa! You. Huh? <laughs> Ooga <laughs> I gotta help her. Don't let your guard down. Character in normal attack, open battle menu. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'd say that was eight out of ten. Whoa. Not a fan of that song. Ooh, good thing I made it in time. Ah, I shouldn't have used my phase gun. Great. How could I have been so careless? That probably violated the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. But I had to do it. If I didn't pull the trigger, I couldn't have saved that girl. I. Oh, would you say something to um... her? <laughs> you all right? Well, that was a close one. 
By the way, if you don't mind me asking. <laughs> the battle music, yeah. The, the leveling, the after victory music, I was just like, mm, I, did, I think I'm just too used to Final Fantasy. Hey, wait. She ran away from me. It, it it looks really cool. I like this. <laughs> Yo, look, yeah, you're right. Look at the shadows. That's crazy. <laughs> Very tough to be found inside treasure chest. Be sure to open any chest you come across. Purple, rare, gold equipment or accessory to factor. It's silver, normal equipment. Red, other items are full. Spiked enemies will appear. What a mysterious forest. I wonder if there are any towns or villages nearby. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd wait for me. <laughs> yeah, why was she waiting? Did she run away from him? <laughs> I'm sorry I ran away like that. Oh, no, th that's okay. It's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. <laughs> Scary, huh? Y yes, a little. Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Oh, and uh, <coughs> I'm Claude. Uh, Claude C. Kinney. Not the sweat drops. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Uh, it looks like, like that, that forest that. in World yeah. of Warcraft. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? I figure she wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. Probably. A faraway place? I have never even been off this continent. That's really amazing. Is Earth farther away than L? <laughs> I suppose, yeah. It Mark must Trump. have been quite a long uh, time. No, literally the one right outside um, Stormwind. Town. Oh, that's weird. That's adorable. <laughs> Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's alright if I just barge in? Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please. That's all we're being offered, the least that she can offer? 
What are you? <laughs> Did I say Final Fantasy? <laughs> Did I say Final Fantasy? The onboard is I'm not that. We are back. We're back. It didn't say I could turn the camera, right? Here we are. Welcome to Arlia. I haven't breathed air this clean in a long time. Damn, what the fuck's happening on Earth? What do you mean by clean air? Is there such a thing as dirty air? <laughs> yeah. It's sure dirty where I come from, anyway. Really? I don't think I would like that. I don't think so either. This feels a thousand times better. Well, there's Damn. plenty of clean air here, so breathe as much as you please. <laughs> I need to run back home for a little bit, Mr. Kenny. Would you mind maybe taking a walk around the village for a little while? Sure, no problem. I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna be a total stranger running everybody's house. It's probably not a good idea to get too involved with the locals. I better try to find a way back. Maybe the villagers will have something helpful to tell me. Where could be a better where could be better than Arlia? Young folk don't seem to know anything these days. What's the church? Tony your outfit. Where did you find it? Earth? Earth? <laughs> Never heard of it. Father Marshall said the hero of light was gonna arrive real soon. You must be a traveler. I hear even the main rooms have become <laughs> by monsters recently. In a time like this, you had to decide to venture out. It's been a while to imagine that it has been easy for you. May the god protect you from the. Okay. They have like an angel like being, similar to Earth.
Right. I can't climb? Then why would you put the ladder there? This is an RPG. Milokinya? Never heard of it. This is early. Our village is located in the southern part of this continent. Is this the save? Of course it is. <coughs> what did it say? We can also save at any what? I really don't like earthquakes. There have been really recently getting a bit fed up. Are you scared of the earthquakes? That stuff doesn't bother me, but I'm afraid of thunder. Okay, so we see the benefits of those raiding people's houses. Spaceship? <laughs> is that something you can eat? I don't know what that is. Automatically a good gear you find that is better than your current weapons or in armor. Accessories would not be equipped. Can't be turned off. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's dope. Automatically equips the best thing for me. Machines, machines, the heck is that? Something that moves on its own? You mean like with symbology? Go ask <laughs> symbologists if you want to know about something. <laughs> is symbology just magic? <laughs> that just sounds so funny. I've heard there are all kinds of monsters outside the village. I hate monsters. They frighten me. Don't worry. If they ever try to attack you, I'll blast them away with my sword of light. Yay, my brother's the hero. That's right. No, I don't see things that be good inside. Just robs them. <laughs> Runs into this house with kids and just robs them. away on business he should be back in an hour you just let anybody just run in the mayor's house Talk to this kid. Hold on. Where you're from? I can't tell at all. This will be happening in every episode for it for every town. I am going in every door. I I'm going to enjoy this. So where is he right now? Well, I told him to look around town for a bit. Wait a minute, Reina. <laughs> um, excuse me. Ah, uh, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? No, um, I was just walking around the village and I wound up here. Oh, I see. I didn't expect you to be here. Is this a bad time? Oh, no, not at all. Mom, this is Mr. Kenny. He's the one who saved me earlier. Mr. Oh, Kenny? Oh, huh? my. So he's the one you told me about? Well, hello there, Mr. Kenny. I'm Raina's mother. Just call me Westa. Raina said that you saved her from a dangerous situation earlier. Oh, I, uh, 
it wasn't anything special at all. Did this game have like dark moments too? But of course it is. It would have been a disaster if you hadn't shown up when you did. I told this girl time and again to stay away from the sacred forest, but she never listens to me. Oh, Mom. Reyna, you should just be glad that you're okay. <laughs> Anyways, Mr. Kenny, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I'm done here, so how about I show you around the village? Ah, yes, please. Thank you. All right. See you later, Mom. <sighs> okay, I got it. Have fun, you two. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. I'm sorry about my mother. She can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. My parents are kind of the same way. Oh, really? Yeah, like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed. <laughs> well, shall we get going? This is Mr. Claw Kenny. He traveled here from somewhere far away. Oh, I see. That would explain why I didn't recognize him. Child, how are you doing? You look just as vibrant as ever. Okay, I gotta remember to get the exclamation marks here. This is the Belting Church. We hold wedding ceremonies and things in here. Father Marshall, the very hardworking man, he's always there for us. And there's if there's something we need to talk about, sound like a wonderful man. Well, yes, yeah, so everyone trusts him. I don't. <laughs> oh, you're so cute when you get flustered. That's it. Let's go, Mr. Kenny. Why Mr. Kenny? house is home to a newly bred, newlywed couple they're so in love with each other it's almost embarrassing to watch yeah cause they could have been doing something nasty oh now Rain is a very nice girl so I'm counting on you to make her happy just like Lou's done for me uh, all right I had enough of this <laughs> hey Rana, taking your boyfriend around town please don't miss him sin he's just a guest okay Everybody just, everybody already figured it out. Rena, why didn't Alan come here anymore? Hmm, you know, that's a good question. Hey, Rena, who's this Alan guy? Oh, he's just a childhood friend of mine. He lives in town just north of here. Oh. This is all these good. They sell all kinds of useful things. Why can't they make an MMO like this? Like this pixelated. I think it'd be cool. That's in that heals wounds, you know. Can't leave on a journey without them. Oh, herbs. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> She's trying to keep your cover. It's the home of the town carpenter and his family. He's got a big job in the next town over right now. So I don't see him at home very much these days. The two kids are here by themselves. Yeah, that's right, those poor kids. I'm trying to vent them to try the <coughs> as often as I can with them. That's pretty nice of you, Rena. 
No, not at all. I try. Ha ha ha. Alright, oh, come on. Hey, lady. Oh, Reyna. That's sad. You did that work in today? Yeah, yeah, I've been back in two weeks. But don't worry. I'll look after my sister while she's away. Yeah, I'm not lonely at all. I got my brother, and he come, always comes to play with us, too. Are you going to tell us that story? I'm so sorry, but I'm a bit busy today. I promise you that I will next time. All right. Okay, you promised. Damn. Tugging on the strings with that one. <laughs> this is the home of the mayor, Arlia. Mayor of Arlia. I'm a knowledgeable guy, but he doesn't seem to be in right now. We're gonna, I'm going to work on that this whole game, okay? <laughs> I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? She threw it down. What is that? Watermelon. So she could. Hey, lady. She pulled out a whole thing of watermelons and they're not even cut. Oh, chicken. Mom, what's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? She made like a pot of soup. I just thought i thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. We were gone for 10 minutes, lady. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? She looks worried. Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Why did she chop up the watermelons? Thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. Oh, that's what do you mean? I'm sorry my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. I'm going to go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, all right? Sure, that sounds good. Man, I'm full. Mom, I wonder how she's doing. I hope she isn't too worried about me. <coughs> I've got to find a way to get home. Is his mom in the game? Raina's taking a while. Ah, hello, ma'am. How was the meal, Mr. Kenny? I didn't make too much, did I? Oh, not at all. All of it was wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for making. Really? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You're welcome. So you really liked it? I really did. <laughs> what the hell? Are you a hundred percent sure? I'm one hundred percent sure about it. Well, thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't good enough for the hero. 
Um, did you just say hero? <laughs> Raina, oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I, uh, no, it, it's just that I've... Calm down, Mom. Tell me what's wrong. I said it. Said what? I said the H word. What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Look, what's going on here? Please be calm, everyone. <laughs> it's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. <laughs> Crazy old coop. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kenny. This must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Allow me to thank you profusely for saving our dear Reyna's life in the sacred forest. Oh, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Reyna has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? The continent of Liquor, yes. Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. What are you trying to say, sir? Mr. Kenny, if you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world. A hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? What? I, uh, listen, what would possibly make you think that I... If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, a hero will appear in garbs of foreign make. And with his sword of light, he will save us all. Your clothes are nothing like what we have, and you carry the sword of light. What more proof do we need? What are you? I don't have any sword of light. Of course you do. You used a blinding light to save me earlier. That? Maybe he really isn't <laughs> the one. He's got to be. Hmm. I think I know why you're all confused. This weapon of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit <laughs> they got it's sick. something like one. <laughs> they got but still, carrying this around doesn't make me any scared. kind of special hero. There's got to be some kind of mistake. How can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the sorcery globe or the cataclysms? We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the cataclysms that have affected the entire world. It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. It all began three months ago. Mm -hmm. 
On another continent northwest of this village, <laughs> there is a kingdom by the name so of funny El. To me. I don't know why. <laughs> One fateful day, a meteor crashed upon Aluria, a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm <coughs> took place. Great hordes of monsters suddenly appeared in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc they spread devastated the kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world. Not until the arrival of that meteor. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. The meteor yeah. came to be called the Sorcery Globe. A stone of pure demonic evil. No matter how you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. I mean, I guess if that stone is the source of the chaos. I guess that's putting two or two that together. Only you can cut through the chaos and save us. But I'm just a. The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. But I... I'm not anyone special, like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? If you are not, then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... Hmm. I don't know how to explain it. And even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident. And not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons, but you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. I know, but that's all I can tell you. Very well. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. I'm sorry about this. Reyna! Oh my gosh. You should probably leave her be for now. She believed with all her heart that you were the hero we needed. I'm Last sure time we left her be, she was attacked in the forest. Reyna. There is one thing I would like to ask of you, Mr. Kenny. Please, if you can, try to avoid acting in a way that would confuse others. I am, of course, referring to the Sword of Light. But if you could... I ask you to be prudent with your behavior in general as well. As I explained to you, things have been unsettled ever since the Sorcery Globe landed. People are anxious and uncomfortable. To have someone who matches the description of our legends suddenly appear in these circumstances... Well... What the hell? Hopefully you can understand why... People like Reyna were holding out so much hope for you. So I do ask you to be mindful not to instill that hope into people. Yes, Mayor. I'll try my best. Well then, on that note, Mr. Kenny, what's your next order of business? I wish I knew. I thought maybe I would try to find something that'll get me back home, but... In that case... Why don't you stay here in our village for a while? 
You can stay in my house for as long as you like. Perhaps you'll be able to find out something useful while you're here. Oh, I, I couldn't impose like that. <laughs> Not at all. If anyone was imposing around here, it was certainly us. I insist. Yeah. Well, in that case, I will accept your offer then. Got the sleep song. Did you sleep well? Yes, very. Thank you. The mayor will see you downstairs. Oh, let me, um, move this so that you guys can, oh, shit. So that you guys can see the, the animations. Mayor will see you downstairs. Mayor. Ah, you're finally up. Yes, I needed a good night's sleep. Superb, superb. By the way, Mr. Kenny, if you can't find what you're looking for here in Arlia, you might want to try visiting the town of Salva to the north. Salva's a mining town where you can find people from all across the continent. Perhaps it will prove to be worthwhile to have a look over there. All right. Thanks for the tip. Don't worry about it. Oh, and one more thing. Your sword of light will probably attract too much attention. So please, make use of this sword instead. Finally, if you're ever tired, you can use the upstairs bed anytime you like, day or night. Great. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. For the Reina. Using the mouse is weird. Here's the poison. A pair of glasses are beautiful. We'll get into that later. That in the inventory, you go to the 20 of any single item. So, what do I have? Mixed berries. <coughs> okay. A little jump start. So let's get some healing products, yeah. I right, see, so I don't have a lot of money. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I believe saving is very important in this one. Hey, mister. Huh? I think I frustrated quit rage quit when I was a little kid. If you leave the village. You better stay close to the road, okay? The forest is really dangerous. I'll remember that. Thanks. Oh, the you know, cutscene you got a voice. Oh shit, sure you can. Enemy souls appear in dungeons and on weak, normal, strong. Okay. Touching an enemy symbol in, in, from the front will be in the battle to be sent behind. Being touched from behind by symbol will trigger a back attack where battle begins with the ambush. Oh shit. Right.
It said check every nook and cranny. I believe that's true, right? Cause there can be some parts where I will miss something. Yeah, it's so common. How do I attack with the sword? Shift W A D to switch targets. Alt to lock on. Okay. The control for switching can be changed on the settings. Let's switch target according to the format you the enemy list their battle on current position. Press C right when an enemy tries to form a perfect counter. Use an enemy. The perfect counters have the following benefits: recover 25%, 25% of max MP. The lower the character's HP, the more MP will be recovered. The enemy shield will decrease by one. Okay. The other perfect counter has the following negative effect: the character will break, rendering them unable to act at the time. Okay. They upgraded the combat. That was actually pretty cool. That was fun. It reminds me of old uh, Tale of Vesperia. How do I get that? Gotta find some way to regroup with Kalnas. I think that's the next town they were talking about. How do I get up there? Is that a way out right there? We can win this. I hope. That was easier than I thought. Whoa. Open um equipment. That was easier than I thought. Preparations for adventure such as checking your inventory, changing your equipment, and other how indicates update information. Depending on so story progress, characters will to come in on the next objective or situation. If you ever lost, be sure to check the camp menu. Some pieces of equipment have elementals or elemental resistance with the most beneficial. Elemental resistance is weak, double damage, huh? Cool. Okay. If armor is with both weak air and full for particular equipment or equipment, the full resistance to effects take priority. Okay. MVP to improve. What? Uh. 
the heavy Peter Bruce with shards and spells. <laughs> he looks like a kid, like... Well, I did in that one. Looking for... Uh... We can oh, win shit. This. I hope. Let me look at my multiple enemy civil that connect to a straight line. Crown thing like the result in consecutive battle. I can't see, Mom. Uh. Oh. We can win this. I hope. Enemy will break when their shield is completely depleted. They will temporarily be unable to act while broken. Actively aim to break foes in order to deal damage with no retaliation. Ignore defense, all hits are critical. Give it a quick save. Sure, I'm sorry, man. I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen you around here before. Where are you from? This is Salva, Mining Town. Such a nice day, and you're just lazing about inside. Go outside and play. But I'm tired. If you want to learn about what's going on, you might want to go visit the bar. Okay. No chest. Not sure if this is what you're looking for, but I've heard there's a family living in a town in Southern Lawson that makes all kinds of strange devices. If you're in Lawson, maybe you should stop by their home. We need strange devices. This here, the money town, this mine, the mine owned by Bernard Tux, who's also our mayor. About two weeks ago, some guy found a mysterious stone in the mines. Turns out this stone is worth a good 50,000 full. Man, what I paid to get glimpse of that stone. But there's rumors going around that say Alan, the mayor's son, took that stone away from him. Oh shit, here we go. First first story arc of the anime. Have you heard? Alan used to visit Arlia almost every day just to see Reyna. But I heard that now he spends all his time in his room polishing some bizarre stone. You think he's giving up on Reyna? Hold on, that's probably the house right there. We just talk to everybody. Mom said that strange things are happening all over the world. Do you think they'll happen to Salva too?
I'm originally from Cross City. This place is total dumb, but I heard that Harley is even more of a cop. You're wearing some unusual clothes. Clothing for these parts. I've never seen anything like it. Some carpenter from Harley has been working on the mayor's house. He's supposed to be renovating the house, but I don't see anything different. What part of the house do you think he's renovating? <laughs> Why the two of you? I just saw a bunch of shady guys going into the mayor's home. I don't know what they're up to, but I, I heard they were hired by the mayor's son himself. <coughs> anyway, that doesn't do with me, so I couldn't care less. Damn. Do you have any talents? You might want to check out the status screen if you do. <laughs> Sigh. It's too so difficult to cook when you, you have so much terrible sense of taste. Hick. Have you heard? They're saying their claws diminish because of cavens. I guess why. I should not the real reason. The real reason is that Alex, um, what, uh, what I was I talking about. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Something bothering you? When you got problems, there's nothing like a drink to cheer you up. I'm 19. I came here from Linga to find work. In all my life, Linga, in all my life in Linga, I never heard, even heard of the stuff you're talking about. All right, let's go to the mayor's house. We're not even gonna try to go in there because I feel like that's just gonna lead to fighting. Master Bernard is currently on holiday. In the meantime, Master Allen is supervising the mines. Is he the very busy man? He will not be seeing anyone. To, no, please leave. Tell me to leave. A fried egg. Master Allen's been acting very strange recently. He spent all his days in study, and he doesn't seem to be eating anything at all. I just hope he doesn't fall ill. Talisman not important. Whew. Shit. The stone that Mass Island acquired the other day is really quite remarkable. <sighs> I wish I had a stone like that as well. Sucks. Well, shoot. This planet's even more backwards than I expected. I can't find any leads anywhere. Nothing's popping up on my communicator either. Oh, well. I guess I'll go back to Arlia and figure out what to do next. So you travel to any town, shops, or dungeons that have been visited previously. Open the guide map with one and then select destination. It's never gonna be easy to find a way back to Kalnos. Here they come! Than I thought. No, we gotta get that EXP in. Sheesh. Do you see that one over there?
Here they come. But when they say when it chains up, it's uh when it chains up I get bigger rewards. That was easier than I thought. What's everyone out here for? Mr. Kenny, Rain is in trouble. What? Raina, She's walking in the forest Raina. again. Mr. Kenny, do you know about the son of the mayor from the next town over? Yes. Uh then I'll cut right to the chase. Alan has taken Raina away by force. Taken her away? Where? I'm afraid to say this, but I believe he took her back to his mansion. He's one of Reyna's most overzealous suitors. I never thought he'd be the sort of man who would take things this far, however. Well, what are you standing here for? We've got <laughs> to help her. I'm afraid things aren't that simple. Alan's the son of the mayor. He's one of the most powerful people in his hometown. Right. We could face retaliation in one form or another. Not that I accuse the mayor of being such a base individual, of course. I'm merely saying that the possibility of such a thing is much greater than zero. Alan also has a gang of thugs to serve as his personal guard. I imagine he threw his money at all the local ruffians he could find. His gang all look tremendously tough. If we tried to confront them head on, we would have no chance against them. Damn, Alan's down? With the sun? But still, something like this has never happened before. I'm at a loss as to what we could possibly do. Oh, Reyna. My Reyna. Me, the, the, the hero. <laughs> then I'll go save her. <coughs> Since I'm not from this village, my actions shouldn't have any effect on the rest of you. I'm just a random nobody who decided that Reyna could use some of my help. But mm -hmm. Mr. Kenny, it would be too dangerous to try and take them on by yourself. I can and I will. I have my sword of light, remember? Just wait for me, all right? Don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Kenny. Nani? Please save her. I need Reyna back. I know. I promise I'll get her back to you. Was Alan really the type of dumb guy that took this? So I'm guessing we just gotta go in the mines now. I think Alan's going to do that girl. I don't care if he's the mayor's son, there's something you just don't do. Very really can go in there and rescue her, but I'm just not up to it. I heard that the carpenter from Ardia was working on some secret room. So I don't know if. Damn it, it's locked! <laughs> Guess I'm blasting my way through. Sweet! 
Thank you, Elbiger, everybody. <laughs> My phase gun's almost out of energy. I'll need to lay off it for a while, but there's no turning back now. Whoa! What was that? The Sword of Light! What's that? that this gold? is Raina's hairpin. What's it doing in here? Raina's hairpin was dropped in here. If Raina's hairpin was dropped in, sorry about that. Could only mean one thing. Are you okay? Who did this to you? Uh, who are you? Hurry! He kidnapped Raina! I'm Raina's friend. Is she down this way? Raina's been taken away. Deep inside the Salva Mines. Alan paid me to build this bizarre cuts. altar for him. I think he's set on taking her there. I... So he's inside there? Right. Be careful. <laughs> yes, Claude. Something's not right with Alan. All right, wait here, okay? I'll come back for you once I find Reyna. Sorry that I can't help. Here they come! Drop to, to trigger a bonus pack. That can be up to three bonus packs. Use them to gain advantage of the battle. The enemy will drop spear. Then the following situation: the enemy defeated, a critical hit, the enemy broken. Breaks in particularly, everything allow for larger amounts of spear to be obtained. So actively aim to break them. The bonus can will break to the, in the following situations: a perfect counter fail. The current character becomes incapacitated. The battle begins with an enemy back attack. The gas will be completely reset. In front of I don't know what that bonus stuff is. I think I already told it, so it will get ugly. I think those rabbits, when I hit them in the air, they, they break easily. There's 
mine shafts branching everywhere. Where is the rain on that one? Blackberry. Be careful. <laughs> See me. adventure ahead of us. We can win this. Like in dungeons like these I wanna take out every enemy because you know we have to we have to fight to level Palm, okay. Strong attack. Our hits first off. Fires off a burst of inner energy. Which... Well, yeah, look around first. I think I miss the old voice actors. Behind us. Oh shit. Damn, it broke my bonus. When it sneaks up behind me, it breaks it breaks my bonus. Shield. Here they come. Anyone hurt? this the rare of dragons maybe she ain't going to put them out dragons Easier than I thought. 
Is Ashton over there? Is that the dragon that they're talking about? Enough. What the hell are you doing, you sick freak? So you're out. Let Reyna go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Why are you standing like that, Claude? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reyna. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Leon Kennedy. Stop it. This isn't anything holy. You can't force someone into marriage like this. Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love. Alan? Love with. Oh, no. Easy. It's, easier than I thought. It's, I, it's easy now. I know the game gets really difficult later, though. Also, I played it when I was, I don't know, like Reina, six, seven. Are you all right? y yeah. What happened to this guy, Reyna? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like. He was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan. You were such a good person, too. I think he's dead. Reyna. Why did this have to happen? Ah. Uh. He's still breathing. Symbology. Where am I? Huh? Reyna, why are you here? Alan, you're back! What do you mean? Oh, my head's spinning. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. No, what are you doing? I did all Throw of the that. There's a chest in there. Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? <laughs> yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. And now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. 
I don't remember much after that, but I don't Real think specific. I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reina, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Do we? Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reina. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Reina! Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reina's life not once, but twice now. <laughs> Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole <coughs> episode? That little stone he found in the Salva mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Hmm. Forgive me. Then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. That's just something that popped into my mind anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, Rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Ah, uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request, but frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? Mr. Kenny? The Sorcery Globe. As of now, the Sorcery Globe seems to be the only thing on this planet that has any connection to outer space. I don't have anything else that's even close to a lead right now. Knowing what I know now, it's hard to think of the Sorcery Globe as just a normal meteorite. Finding more about it could prove to be more valuable than I thought. Hmm. All right. I'll do it. You will? <laughs> ah, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Well, Reina? Reina? You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Reina, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that, but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're going to need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that. 
right? I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor. Help me out here. Hmm. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? Mayor... I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over, son. <sighs> okay, I got it. What about her mom? I get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. Oh man, look at that nighttime. That's I'm cool. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I. Yes. <laughs> oh, Reyna, are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. Man. What's the matter with her? Oh, well. <laughs> I can't have myself catch a cold out here. Back inside for me. And for you, too. Yes, sir. Reyna left. Friendship level has changed. Nice. Are you still just going to any house? No. <coughs> Would you join me for a little chat before bed? Sure. You know, when that girl volunteered to go with you, there was a part of Hello, me that brother, knew I'm she'd do exactly what she did. I don't see myself going to sleep anytime soon, actually. I'm enjoying this. Why is that? Raina helped heal Alan's injuries, didn't she? Yeah. That healing power she has? Nobody else in the village has it. How do you mean? The fuck you mean, how do I mean? <laughs> Allow me to be frank. Reyna is not Wester's real daughter. Wester found her inside the sacred forest. Reyna was only two years old then. Huh. Yeah, I, do, I don't remember this story at all. I just remember images, but yeah, that's it. Even I was genuinely surprised when Wester showed up with a toddler in tow. When Wester told everyone she'd raised the child as her own, Nobody raised so much as a single objection. I suppose they felt sympathy for the couple, as they had never been blessed with a child of their own. Does Reyna know about this? No, she hasn't been told. I thought it was still too early. That's crazy. She could already say her own name when we found her. So we know for a fact that Reyna is her real name. Other than that, we have no idea where she came from, nor the reason she possesses the healing power that she has. In other words, everything about her is a total mystery to us. You don't have any clue at all? Her only possession 
was the pendant around her neck. But that does not give any insight about her past. There isn't anything aside from that. I had no idea. Ah, look how late it is. <laughs> I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. I've already prepared the bed upstairs for you. So please. Please, oh, take good care of Raina for me. I promise, I will. The, the good old days when we had good RPG Rina. games, yo. That's odd. It sounds like something's hitting the window. Is it coming from the balcony? This guy never going Rina? to bed. What's wrong? I want to talk to you. Can you come down for a moment? I'll be right there. Thanks. I'll be like, now? Huh? Where did the mayor go? Where the hell did she go? Oh, I see her. Yo, that just looks awesome. Oh, there she is. The lighting. So, what did you want to talk about at this hour? My mother, I'm going, and, um, she was pretty surprised. I would think so. Did she say no? She didn't say anything, but then the mayor came by. Oh. Listen, Mr. Kenny, there's a reason why I want to come along with you. I don't like that she calls him that. <laughs> there's a reason... A reason? What do you mean? My mom. She... I don't think either of them realize I know, but I overheard them discussing it a long time ago. supposed to do please keep your voice down we wouldn't want Raina to hear us that girl's passed out on her bed now that she's finally had enough of crying for her dead father oh she overheard everything she definitely overheard everything I am sure this is just as much a shock for you as it is for her you are her mother. You need to stay calm for her sake. Stay calm? How am I supposed to stay calm? My husband is dead. Wester. Without him? What am I? I still haven't told her yet. Now that he's gone, I'll have to tell her all by myself. Can you imagine having to tell your daughter that she's not your real child? Damn. I knew I should have thrown away that damn pendant. Why didn't I get rid of the last connection to her real parents? She would have been mine, my real daughter. Aw. So you want to search for your real mother? I don't know. I don't have anything to go on besides this pendant. 
but the fact that whoever gave birth to me cared enough to give me this pendant, I think she must have loved me, at the very least. What about the mom you have now? West is the one that raised you. I can tell she has a lot of love and affection for you. What about her feelings? I... I love her. She's the only mother I have. So why all this, then? I want to know what I really am. Where was I born? Why was I in the sacred forest? Where did this power of mine come from? But more than anything else, I want to know what happened to the woman who gave birth to me. I'm not going with you because I want to leave my village. I'm going because one day, I will come back here again. Mm -hmm. It's getting late. I'm sorry I brought all this up. No, no, it's... So she just wants to go and get answers. Good night. Take care of Raina for us, Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Be careful out on the road. Of course. I'll be fine as long as Mr. Kenny is with me. I suppose so. Raina. Don't worry, Mom. I promise I'll be back soon. Saying goodbye like this makes it all the better when I say hello again, right? That's a good way of thinking about it. Yeah, you're right. Come back soon, okay, Rena? Thanks, Lucian. Remember to be a good boy, all right? Okay. Go on now. Wouldn't want to keep Mr. Kenny any longer than we have to. You'd want to reserve enough time for the trip to cross, no? It's best if you set off as soon as you can. So the first thing to do is visit the King of Cross at the castle, right? That's correct. Yeah, he will certainly stars. welcome you once you show him my letter of introduction. You'll be able to gather the latest information on what's going on from him. Oh, definitely. I know the King pretty well myself. Let's go then, Reyna. See you later, Mom. Take care, Reyna. Best of luck to you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you, sir. Cross City is much further north. Okay. That's saying nothing beats fresh air from Aurelia. Check out this area over here. Yep. We better be careful. We can win this. Hold on. That's one for us. Pretty sure for now she can do the. She can handle her own auto leveling, right? Really? I can't go down there? What the hell? How do you get up there? Well, I'm assuming cross is past this place. Private, press R1 in town to toggle to private actions. Gain a glimpse of unknown relationships or unexpected sides of your... Okay. 
Partial level between characters can change depending on the which PA takes place or, or which choices you make. Note that friendship levels can also change events that occur. Okay. Okay. What's wrong, Reina? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my father. I have to hand it to you, Reina. Losing your father must have been terrible, but you've been dealing with it so calmly. Oh, not at all. I cried all the time back when it happened. What's your father like, Mr. Kenny? My father? He's a great man, respected by everyone. They should who knows do Xeno Gears. Wow, I'm jealous. He sounds wonderful. You must be really proud of him, Mr. Kenny. Yeah, he's brilliant. Ma Admiral, we've entered orbit around planet Milokinia. All right. Give me a surface scan. This is dope. <laughs> This is an M-sized planet, breathable E-type atmosphere. Looks like it's got a lot of ore deposits, especially chromium. I'm detecting life forms, but no evidence of sentient life. The usual then. I'll add the data to our star map. Wait a minute, Admiral. There's a point on the surface that's turning up dark in the scan. What do you mean? <laughs> There's an energy field present, but why would there be one here? Do we know anything about this field? Checking our database. That music is really doing something. No matches found. All right, we'll have to land on Milokinia and check it out ourselves. Get us down as quickly as possible. Ensign Ken <coughs> Any? I'm appointing you to the landing party. If I may, Admiral, my duty is to assist you at your command post, not to explore unknown planets. I'm going down to Milokinia too, Ensign. You're coming with me. Admiral, what if something happens to you down on the surface? We're here to discover the unknown, to unlock the secrets of the universe. Who could ask for anything more? I'm just, I'm just an old Some people's man voice acting is, on, is, on, is on par, and then some of them are just to deny me the last bit of fun not bad. Have in my life. But sir, never mind. Under Kurtzman, you take the bridge. Be careful down there, sir. I don't trust Kurtzman. He's a little too chill for me. Right. Let's get moving. <laughs> it's supposed to be so dramatic. Perhaps the Lazonian are responsible for that field. The hell, the Lazonian? The ship is currently orbiting the planet. We need a few minutes, I think, Emma. I heard the Emma of Kenny is already 58 years old. There's only you could see an officer at that age who hasn't retired yet. Kenny is waiting for you as a trip for once. It's really hard to connect with you in those days. What with the Lamonis keeping a low profile. Whatever you do, make sure you protect that one Kenny. So tell me, what logical reason is there for Claude to be in the landing party? Beats me. 
probably dear old dad trying to prop up his son's service record. Ah, too bad we all couldn't be the Admiral's son. Ro well, nothing we can really do about it. Even someone like Admiral Ronix J. Kenny can't help but spoil the kid a little. Hmm? Is something wrong? N no nothing. Okay, um... Oh, that means rain is equipped here. Whoops. I'm gonna go back in here. I wanna check that area out real quick. There's a chest in there and I wanna check the area. God damn it. Why did I begin to so long? Oh, that was one way. Damn it. I oh, my serious apologies for all this. I'm just glad that incident did not end up in I almost thought I would never be able to look at my master in his face again. Oh, that's why I can't go in there because I don't have Reyna with me. Well, much better. That's what brings you here today. So let's sail over to L to investigate the Sorcerer Globe. Sorcerer Globe, isn't that dangerous? Someone has to do it, right? Don't worry, I'll 
I mean, I don't, I can't even make sure that I'm safe. No, I trust Claude. I still can't help but feel a little worried. You're always worrying too much. I'll be fine, I promise. Well, good luck and take care of yourself. Maybe I can go in now. I think that's exactly what it is. What what it is. You know, it's just a dark, complicated. I should try not to get lost. We can win this. You ready for this? Oh. Damn it! That's one for us. The power. Great. Nice. Just ramming through. This is where the dragon things are. Can we still not go there? Where are dragons? Guess not. Spot. First, I'll talk to him. Oh, the mineral, the mining town itself is home to retrain the metals and gems that find their way into weapons. So the small gem stones. Huh. That is quite interesting. But they do that. I'm just gonna keep it moving.
Cross City, the city's a little more. We can win this. We got enemies. Hope. That's one for us. Look around. Here they come. You ready for this? That was easier than I thought. Just spawning. I guess that's where we're headed. Sickness. Oh, these got to be the hard. Look at that, they're red. That's a good thing, though. It indicates when they're in higher their level. Spot real quick. Gotta go find some food then. We can win this. You ready for this? Hope. That was easier than I thought. Cave. I remember this. I remember this. Here they come. We better be careful. Ha, ha, how about this? Ha, meteor. Thanks. 
Damn. I keep breaking my, my streak thing there. We can win this. I don't know what those question marks mean. Fucked up. Okay. Get good at like switching quick. Be careful. Just there. What? Is she supposed to be holding a weapon? Or she had brass knuckles, or, or she just heals. Can't. Odd. Magic, she's pretty much we useful. It's gonna kind of confuse me. Excellent. Well, at this time, do I want to run away? There's a cooldown time when you're dying during the battle. Oh, it's gonna be. Not 
Uh, we're gonna get better at that. Damn, yo. You ready for this? Be careful. I don't know if there's like a character in here, so we got a third party member. I'm hitting C. Why isn't it working? Thanks. Do it. I feel like I'm, I'm not getting that perfect timing when I, when I should be. Chain one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the miss says.
Whoa. Oh, good. When you level, they respell. Almost at a hundred. The direction miss leather boots. Boy, then go away after a fight, or do I gotta deal with that? Telling me, I feel like I'm getting hit by something that's without no um, hit warning. Oh, I see what I did. That's worth ten out of ten. Here they come. We better be careful. I say that was eight out of ten. We got enemies. We can win this. We 
Asche. Can't even continue if I wanted to. I guess this might be something for later. <laughs> They're crying. <laughs> to occur effect and, and affects the ending of the game so be sure it's okay there's a bad person here This one has enemies. Oh shit. Behind us. Behind us. And in the behind attack.
Crips. Four. Your life. Be Did I go this way already? Yes, I did. and dairy. We got a couple of levels in us. Level twelve and eleven. Is that impressive? Level twelve in one day. Shit. 
Oh shit. Well, I mean, next time that if we have to go to that cave at some point, I cleared it out of all its shots, so we could just go directly toward the objective. Yeah, it's nighttime. Hmm, the trip took a lot longer than I thought. There's nobody around. The castle looks like it's locked up too. Let's stay at the inn for the night. We can visit the castle tomorrow. Why, it's Reyna. You've been quite a stranger lately. Sorry I haven't been around, Aunt Rachel. How are things going? as well as always I'd say oh found a new man did you worrying Westa to no end no doubt <laughs> he's not my boyfriend <laughs> well you didn't have to shout it like that huh oh n nothing well you're in luck I've got a lovely vacant room I've just for the two of you. How about I let you stay there for the night on the house? Are you sure that's okay? Oh, nothing but the best for my niece on her special night. Oh, I told shit. You already, it's not <laughs> like that at all. Not at all, huh? Think of it, Mr. Flack paid a visit to town a couple of weeks earlier. Diaz was here? But he left soon yes. afterwards. Not that he had any particular destination in mind. I see. Well, make yourselves comfy. Thank you so much, Aunt Rachel. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Take care of Raina for me, all right? Uh, yes, of course. By the way, I couldn't help but wonder, who's Mr. Flack? You mean Diaz? She mentioned the name earlier, so I was just curious. His full name's Diaz Flack. He used to live in Arlia like me. Something terrible happened yeah, to him though, a long time ago, and because of that, he left the village. Well, I'll try to avoid the subject then. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I make one request though? What is it? You really don't have to call me Mr. Kinney. It Finally. Just makes me feel weird when I call you Reyna. Okay, I'll remember that from now on. Well, let's get ready for bed then. It's getting late. It looks like it. Good night, Claude. Good night, Reyna. Well, how did things go? We had a great night's sleep, Aunt Rachel. Thanks for asking. 
Oh, you know that's not what I meant. Hopefully they'll freak us out. Get the attack out Titan vibes. Nothing for Reyna there. I don't know which one. Oh dear. Yeah, that song is called an earthquake. Don't tell me it's even being mentioned. Oh, you're not allowed to go to a mission. I'm just wondering what's taking my girlfriend so long. She got the dresser on. Hey, have a nice day tonight. Can you take home any of our dishes from our car? Be cooking anchors and Jesus. It's the best. Our cross. Oh, we need items. See that symbologist with the gray bod? I wish I had. I at least I heard my name. There's an auction going on today. I bet everyone's going to try to get that map. If you want to go to Seattle, you should go from Curie. If you go to Seattle Law, so you should go from Harley. You can always hit an enemy if you attack from behind. Knowing this little tip can really make life easier.
Who is this guy? So they deal with the threats like the sor sorcery globe and so not go anywhere near them. She found me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. He he had three eyes. That probably freaked them the hell out. Sorry about the puppy. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is the front desk for the audience chamber. This is the place. I'll write our names in for you. Ah, I see you're here on behalf of Mayor Regis of Arlia. Yes, sir. I'd like to have an audience as soon as possible, if I may. Very well. If you could kindly wait until I make the arrangements. Thank you very much. You are welcome to look around the castle until the time comes. That would be great, thank you. We're in, Claude. Do I just talk to everyone? What the hell are you guys with? Even the portraits are pixel. Which are Prince Clouds are a painting of the Prince Cloud T. Cross, who was known for sneaking other crafts to cause trouble. That viral was out there than uncanny resemblance to someone. So DSP too. King tends to relax in this room when he doesn't have anything any meetings to go to. I'm sorry, you look so much like our friend, so I thought you were in for a second.
Christmas Rosaria. That's what we enjoy to say here. Is that random people strolling around your castle? I, mean, I guess. How does everybody know that my turn is coming? Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remember to be careful. Pardon me. It is an honor, Your Majesty. Ah, oh, it's you, Reyna. It has been a long time, hasn't it? can hardly recognize you. You've grown to be even more beautiful than what I've heard from Regis. Casually just knows the king. I'm glad to see you in good spirits, sire. Oh, there's no need for formalities, Reyna. What can I do for you today? Yes, sire. We have begun to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. As part of that, we were wondering if your majesty could give us whatever information on the globe and its properties that you currently possess. Heavens, you're the one conducting this investigation? Yes, sire, and we are treating the job with as much resolve and determination as it deserves. Well, if that be the case, then it wouldn't do to hold anything back from you. That's about what? The cataclysm occurring in the world, the current state of all. I don't need to remind you of all the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that have occurred worldwide. However, the exact cause of this activity remains a total mystery even to us. Have you given any thought to the idea that the sorcery globe is behind all this? Well, without some kind of evidence to back up that theory, it is difficult to be 100% sure about anything. I hear that people and monsters are fighting a pitched struggle in El Kingdom territory at present. Unfortunately, few details have been given on the scope of the battle or the number of casualties incurred as a result. Are there any ships right now that can take us to El? There are, but they have been strictly regulated. Wild rumors have a way of spreading quickly during wartime, needless to say. Of course. I am afraid we know very little about the machinations of the Sorcery Globe ourselves. I am afraid, or rather, it would be more accurate to say we know nothing at all. Haven't you sent a team to investigate it? I have, but unfortunately, <laughs> any hope for their return seems to have perished at this point. I find those three dots always so funny. To sum up the current situation, despite all our best efforts, we have failed to obtain even a trace of information about the Sorcery Globe. I see. That's why we decided to enlist the help of any willing adventurers in the area. That explains all of the adventurers we saw in town. I hardly need to remind you, Reyna, that your investigation into the Sorcery Globe is an extremely dangerous endeavor. If it were up to me, I would sincerely suggest that you call off this investigation immediately. 
Don't worry, I'll be all right. I have Mr. Kenny on my side. Oh, so you have that much faith in his strength. In any case, it looks like you could do with some better equipment. Hmm. Here, His Majesty has granted you a travel permit, along with a small parting gift. A travel permit? But Your Majesty! Please, <laughs> take it. It's a perfectly fitting payment for helping us root out the cause of this cataclysm. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. If you're traveling to the L Kingdom, the interim transport ship departing from Kurik would be best. We appreciate your generous support, Your Majesty. <laughs> well, I that? even opened my mouth. It's not just you. Even I felt like I had butterflies in my stomach. Somebody like walked off camera. What is the meaning of this? I believe I procured this fair and square. What the hell are you talking about, lady? You practically stole it from me! Stole? <laughs> exactly when did I partake in something anywhere even close to stealing? Enough of your crap! Hand it over or you're dead! Wait a minute. I can't just let this go on. What am I, cotton? Claude? Brat. Hey you! That's no way to speak to a lady, you know. What was that? Let's be a little more Wait, civilized she's a thief. here, alright? Are you talking to me, kid? If I recall correctly, you were gonna fight me, not this little boy. What? I'll kill you, you little... If you want to pick a fight, you'd best choose your opponents more carefully. Not that I'm particularly enthralled with getting in a fight over something I didn't do. You're gonna pay for this! <laughs> Hopefully that taught him something. I must thank you, my boy. You were quite the courageous one. Boy, your bravery has struck a chord inside of me. Truly brilliant. Uh, it was nothing. You're blushing, Claude. <laughs> By the way, are you the couple who had an audience with the king earlier? How'd you know that? I just happened to be on a tour of the castle at the time, and I overheard some guards gossiping about two people who got special permission to jump ahead in the king's schedule. And you realized that was us? I wondered what made that pair so special. So I sneaked into the throne room to find out for myself. That's... impressive. I have some information that I believe you will appreciate. Without going into too many details, I just happened to get my hands on this map from an auction that I attended not long ago. Supposedly, this map shows the way to an ancient treasure hidden inside a certain cave. Would you be interested in joining me as I explore the cave? We really don't have time to go treasure hunting right now. <coughs> oh? Are you sure? 
You might uncover a hint or two related to your own goal. <coughs> well, so she could join our party, along? right? An ancient treasure. Maybe it'll provide me with some leads. Sounds like fun. I'll take the offer. Ah, I <laughs> knew you'd come around. My name is Celine Jules. I'm a treasure hunting enthusiast. Now then, let me show you the map one more time. See this? First, we'll set off for the Cross Cave, which lies east of Cross. Cross Cave? You mean that natural cave? Everyone knows that place. Indeed, it's the very one. I would have thought just have that a treasure map about it. Excavating in there was long gone by now. Well, supposedly right. this map just recently came to light for the first time. Wow. Right. Let's make sure we have all the equipment we need before I could get used to having you. Let me save it here. Well, guys, that was the first episode of Star Wars in the Second Story. I had a lot of fun playing that, but uh, I'm going to head to bed, and I am going to be getting right back on this tomorrow for more, because uh, I'm now in that mood of it. Uh, thank you so much. If you liked the video, please drop a like. If you want to follow along later, you can go ahead and subscribe and thank you so much. Appreciate it.